everybody. Welcome to another week of Technique Tuesday. I am Anastasia Radloff, AKA Stamp and Blondie, and thank you for joining me for your weekly step-by-step -step live crafting event. I hope you all had an amazing Memorial Day weekend if you're here in the United States, and it was relaxing and spent with time with friends and family, just reflecting what the holiday is really about. All right, so I am excited today to bring you Technique Tuesday. Normally, I share with you each week uh, Maker's Monday, and this week I wanted to share something fun and different with you uh, as I create with the new soft pastels. Now, let me just make sure that I am live here on Facebook. If you are joining along and able to see me, make sure to say hi, comment that you're watching. Uh, it looks like uh, my internet, as always, <laughs> is having some issues. So it looks like I've got some comments there, so I'm glad that you're able to see uh, what I can follow along with you guys here today. Let's see. Um, I can see some of your comments, so we'll go ahead and get started. So like I said, today I'm gonna be bringing you two different projects featuring the new soft pastels. You may have not seen these in the new catalog. They're kind of hidden and they're really fun to work with. So let me grab my catalog here. Ugh. Got to grab that before I got started. There we go. All right, so the, the pastels, these are actually something that we have had in the past, so they may look familiar to you. Let me go ahead and swap my camera so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. They are actually found on page 126 with our assortments and bundles next to our markers and our watercolor pencils. Like I mentioned, these are kind of hidden, so they, you may have easily overlooked these items from the catalog. These soft pastels are chalk pastels and they're perfect for creating different types of coloring. I am excited to show you two different methods today on how to use these and they're a little different than just coloring on paper. So if you are joining me for the first time, welcome. I normally come live to you each week on Monday, but because yesterday was the holiday, we are doing Technique Tuesday today. And we also have something each week called Prize Patrol. So what exactly is Prize Patrol? This is a fun way for me to give back to my viewers who share my video each week. So all you have to do is share this video and comment that you shared because sometimes Facebook doesn't always let me know when somebody is sharing due to your security settings mainly. So last week I featured two simple stamping projects with the Sweet as a Peach stamp set. And our winner for last week, I know is watching because she just commented, is Becky Holcomb. So congratulations, Becky. You will receive the Sweet as a Peach stamp set um, just for sharing my video. So thank you for doing that. And I'm very excited for you to receive this. Now, also, um, I see Kay, is it Weirer? I'm sorry if I mispronounced you, uh, your last name. You received one of my previous prize patrols, so can you please message me your address and I can get that to you in the mail as well. All right, our prize patrol this week is what actually I'm featuring today. The Soft Pastels Assortment is something fun and exciting from the new catalog. So let's go ahead and show these and show exactly what you're going to get if you win this week's prize patrol. So all you have to do is share the video and you can receive this week's prize patrol of the Soft Pastels. Now these pastels come in a box of eight different colors. They come with, let's see, they're written on the back here. So let me just make sure I'm telling you the right thing. We have Poppy Parade, Mango Melody, Daffodil Delight. This is Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay, Mossy Meadow, and Pacific Point. Now these, or sorry, Night of Navy. Night of Navy for that last one. So these chalk pa soft pastels are chalk pastels, basically the same thing. And I'm gonna show you how to create these two projects here today. 
Now, before I get started, I just have a couple quick announcements. I just wanted to go over our uh, prize patrol for this week. So the pastels are the prize patrol. All you have to do is share this video to be entered in to win. Now, also this past weekend, um, on Sunday, I debuted my newest class. Now, this month, again, I am pairing with Lisa Hardy from Sweet Paper Studios to bring you our June class. Now, because of Father's Day in June, we will be featuring masculine projects with the Hats Off bundle. Now, this bundle is really fun from the new catalog. We have a photopolymer stamp set, and it has all these different sentiments that go along with it. Plus, they coordinate with the hat builder dies. Now, with this project kit, we are um, including a package of the 6x6 six six Neutrals Designer Series paper. So, all of the neutrals, you've got Mary Merlot, Knight of Navy, Mossy Meadow, Crumb Cake, Sahara Sand, Soft Suede, Early Espresso, Basic Gray, Gray Granite, and Smoky Slate. So we have all of these colors in this designer series paper pack that's six by six. You'll also receive a full package of the silver and clear epoxy essentials. Now these are fun because they come in circles, uh, diamond shaped and teardrops, and you get them in silver and clear. The best part about these is with the clear, you can actually change the color with your Stampin' Blends markers. So if you have Stampin' Blends in these colors, you can coordinate your uh, epoxy droplets or teardrops or circles, whatever, to coordinate with your project as well. Now I'm gonna give you a quick preview of a couple projects from the class. Um, it's just gonna be quick because uh, there's two other projects and I want to show those off next week. So here is our first project. This features the designer series paper and a variety of our colors. And then our second card here, this features the mossy meadow with the hat builder dies. So all the details on how to register for this class will be found in the description of this video after I'm done. If you are living in the United States, you can register with me by June 12th. The link will be in this description of the video as well. If you're in Canada, you can register through Lisa at Sweet Paper Studios and you will have until June 12th to register for this as well. All the details will be on the um, video description after I'm done here today. So let me try to refresh again here on my Facebook there we go, I can see everything now, perfect. All right, so our two projects today, like I said, we are featuring the soft pastels. So let's go ahead and jump right into those projects. We've got our first one here that we're gonna create features Mossy Meadow. Now this is an easel card. So we have a four and a quarter by 11. Now all the details on the description of this can be found on my free PDF tutorial. You can pair this with this video and you'll receive all the details that you need to create these two projects at home. Now, this can be found on my website, stampinblondie.com. It was posted earlier this morning. Um, it also has full product pictures and it has all the names of the products I used, item number, prices, and dimensions at the bottom of the page. This is free on my website, um, stampinblondie.com. So we have a piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock, four and a quarter by 11. So this is a piece of basic, or sorry, a piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock, eight and a half by 11, cut right down the middle and scored in the middle as well. I am going to fold that and burnish with my bone folder to really crease up this line here. Now this is the, this is fun. So this is from the annual catalog as well. Again, another item that was easily overlooked. So let me find this so I can show you and point this out. This is the new gold and rose gold six by six uh, metallic paper. And again, like I mentioned, very easy to miss as you're scrolling through because it's a little teeny tiny picture right here in the bottom corner of page 135. It's just this little, little corner of uh, metallic paper, very easy to miss once you're scrolling through the catalog here. So I'll show you what that looks like. It, like I said, it's six by six designer series paper, specialty paper. You get um, eight sheets 
four of rose gold and four of regular gold and they're textured so they have this really fun kind of like if you remember back in the 80s there was like that gold lame which was a big thing uh i think this reminds me of like gold lame bags and those dresses and just everything about that so this is white on the background very easy to cut into uh, so we have a piece of the gold here and this is cut to, let me get my dimensions back out, three by four and a quarter. We're going to move that. And I also have a piece of that neutral six by six designer series paper that's in my hat builder uh, project class for June. This is cut at one inch by four and a quarter. And we're just going to place that right onto our card base and adhere that first. Just a quick swipe of stamp and seal is all you need. And we're gonna put that right there. All right, we're going to work with our pastels now. So for this project, I did just a simple coloring technique. So we are going to stamp our tree trunk first, then we're gonna stamp our uh, tree topper and fill in with the pastels. Today I'm gonna to be using the Beauty of Friendship stamp set. This is from the annual catalog. This is actually sold as an entire suite. It has a stamp set, um, this really fun, beautiful trees dies. Um, and then there's also some fun designer series paper, but we're not featuring that today. That will be for another uh, Makers Monday. So we've got the Beauty of Friendship stamp set. We're not gonna be using the dies today, but I just wanted to show you how fun those will be. And I can't wait to use this for some fall projects. This is really gonna be a fun stamp set to create with in the fall. All right, got our stamp here. And we are going to stamp this really long tree trunk here in early espresso ink. So let me get all my inks out here. Early espresso is the one we're going to use. This makes a really great dark uh, tree trunk look with this ink. So we're gonna stamp this up and right in the middle of our paper, we're gonna stamp that down. Now for my tree topper, I am going to use old olive ink. Now you may be asking how come I'm not using uh, Mossy Meadow, which is our base color for our card. I wanted to use old olive just because I want that to peek through but I don't want it to be too dark. So we've got our old olive ink pad here and then just gonna ink that up and stamp it. You can see how easy it is with these photopolymer stamps to just line everything up when you stamp there. Now you can see the old olive still looks kind of dark compared to our sample here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with our soft pastels and I'm going to use this granny apple green color here. Now these, like I mentioned, are chalk pastels and so you don't wanna have too much of a heavy hand when you work with these because they can, just like any kind of chalk, like when you write on a chalkboard, it can create like uh, little piles of the chalk when you use them. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to lightly rub my pastel onto my paper. And you may have said, but you said it's more than just rubbing it on the paper. It will be. So we're just gonna rub that along to create the fullness of the tree. So we've got our color here, just filling in the sections. And then as you can see, there's some dust around, chalk dust around it. What I wanna do, I kind of want to soften up the lines on this. So let me see if I can, I can't scroll in any anymore. So here is my uh, paper and you can see there's this bit of chalk dust. It kind of looks hazy from just rubbing it on there. And I'm gonna take a Q-tip, just a basic Q-tip, don't need anything special for this. And I'm just gonna, cause there's all that additional chalk dust on there still. And I'm just gonna soften up the lines with my pastels. This will um, really just kind of fill in any lines that you have had 
when you are coloring on. You can move some of that chalk dust that's left over around and really create a bigger and fuller look to your tree here. And then also you can see it softened up that color just a little bit as well. Now there still will be some remaining chalk dust left. You can just tap that into your garbage can and if you see any other places that color may have gone just not exactly how you wanted it, you can take the Q-tip and just kind of rub it around some more. And that's the first technique on how to use the chalk pastels. So here's a little kind of closer look. You guys can see it really are, they're super easy to use. These things would probably last you an entire lifetime because there's, you, you don't need very many at all. So we've got our first chalk tree and then we're gonna adhere this down using stamp and seal to our gold background here. Right there. Yes, Connie, it is so easy. Now the next technique I'm gonna do, you're gonna just be blown away and how much fun that is. So we've got our, uh, our gold piece here with our card base. We're gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of that. So let me find them, oh, right here. And I need to cut these because I was finishing up, like I think I said in my last Maker's Monday last week, I have about eight sheets of open dimensionals and I'm just trying to use up all these little leftover sheets from classes and just, you know, I can't find one, I grab a new one. So working my way through all these little sheets of dimensionals. So here we go. We've got our chalk pastel tree down. Now this little piece here, if I can pick it up, <coughs> This little piece is actually from the um, tree dies. So I had mentioned earlier, we weren't gonna be using them, but I misspoke. I am using this little label piece right here. I like that the beautiful trees dies not only have pieces to cut out the stamps, but it also comes with these die pieces, these labels that you can create for your sentiments. All right, excuse me, I got a little tickle in my throat. Okay, we're gonna stamp our sentiment from the stamp set. And we are gonna use the one that says thank you. The great thing about this stamp set is that not only does it come with images, but it has sentiments as well. And it has this little splatter image right there. We are gonna stamp on the back of our uh, background piece here. We are gonna use Mossy Meadow for this part. And I'm just gonna stamp some little splatters in the upper corners of the card. It gives it just a little bit extra to be able to focus your eyes right in to the middle of this chalk piece here. We're gonna stamp our sentiment using the early espresso and it fits right into that little die cut piece. Now, normally I like to uh, stamp and then die cut, but I didn't want to get out my die cut machine for this whole thing. So we are going to ink up and just stamp into our die cut piece there. All right, is there a spray or something so the chalk does not rub off? So Connie, the chalk doesn't really rub off that much um, because you're using such a light hand. You really don't have to worry about any of the chalk rubbing off. But my next technique, I'll show you something that'll keep it on there even more. So uh, just stay tuned, there's more coming. <laughs> All right, we've got our stamp and seal on the back of our die cut. And then we're gonna embellish, these are fun. These are from the annual catalog. These are metallic pearls. So they come with a sheet of silver and a sheet of gold. Now these are all the same size pearls, so you can get, um, you don't have to worry about having bigger ones or smaller ones, but I am just going to use three on here. <coughs> Gosh, that tickle in my throat will not just go away. I apologize for that. I tried to down a whole bunch of water before I started in, in hopes that it would go away, but it, it just didn't. 
All right, so here is our first project featuring the chalk pastels. Now the best part about these is you can see the difference. No matter how many times you work with them, they're always gonna have a slight variation each time you create with them. So they're really fun and really easy to create, just kind of a shaded effect for your projects. So let me know what you guys think about this project. I hope you guys like this one. Very quick, very simple layout, and you could really do this with all the chalk pastels and this Beauty of Friendship stamp set. So I hope you guys like that one. All right, our second one. Now this is the one that I love the most. Let me get that in the shot there so you guys can see it. You may not be able to see the sentiment very well because I did do tone on tone stamping here. It says you truly inspire me. So hopefully tilting that you guys can see. But look at this really fun fall look for this these chalk pastels. Now this is a totally different technique than what we just did. And I'm very excited to show you this project. Now we have a piece of a very vanilla cardstock. This is uh, five and a half by eight and a half. So just cut in half, um, an eight and a half sheet of paper, cut the opposite direction of our last card that we did. <coughs> that last one was an easel project. This one is just a regular card base. Now we are going to be using a piece of early espresso cardstock. This is at three and three fourths by five and one eighths, my basic matte card size for any project that I like to create. And we're gonna use stamp and seal and place that right in the middle. Now I'm using this really fun, this is the um, In Good Taste designer series paper. Uh, I didn't bring over the the whole sampler sheet, but it's really fun because one side has this like tile look and the other side has these really fun wooden sheets um, designs. This is the perfect masculine designer series paper and then you can create even masculine projects with this tile side as well. We're gonna adhere this down to our card base. This is uh, three and a half by four and seven eighths. So just a quarter inch smaller on two sides. I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock and this is three inches by three inches. And I'm going to get a piece of, I had it here. Yep, right here. This is going to be my uh, cover space here. I didn't want to get out a whole grid piece of paper, but I'm going to be stamping two of these, uh, the same branches that we did before, but we're going to do them at two different varying heights and I'm going to need to cover my workspace for that part. So we're going to stamp one higher up here and then the second one will be a little lower than that last one. So give it kind of a varying tree line look there. Now for this one, <clears throat> we're gonna keep that off to the side because we're gonna need that. This one, we are going to use Versamark ink. Now, if you are not too familiar with what Versamark ink is, this is actually for embossing, heat embossing. Um, you stamp with Versamark and then you add your embossing powder on top and this will allow the embossing powder to stick to your project. And Versamark is, it's a watermark ink pad and it actually dries, uh, it takes a lot longer to dry than a normal ink pad. So what we're gonna do is we are going to stamp our trees here in Versamark ink. So Versamark is very hard to see the color. But before we do that, we're gonna take three of our chalk pastels. We're gonna use the Poppy Parade, Mango Melody, and Daffodil Delight. And on this scratch piece of paper here, I am going to, not color on my project, I'm just gonna take it and color so I have some on my scratch paper. So that's my Poppy Parade. I've got my Mango Melody and Daffodil Delight. Now these, you definitely want to have some chalk dust with them. 
So we're going to take a sponge dauber. These are little sponge daubers, fingertip daubers, whatever you want to call them. They're in the catalog um, on our tools page. And we're going to take our stamp here. We're going to stamp in the Versamark. Stamp again in the Versamark. Now, you watching at home, you won't be able to see exactly where that ink is because it is a clear ink. Um, so you won't be able to see where, exactly where I've stamped, but you will now. So we're gonna take our little sponge dauber. We're gonna tap it into our chalk here, and you're going to pat it on to the Versamark. You don't wanna rub it on just yet. So you're gonna pat that on. It's okay if it has loose chalk dust on there and it's like chunky, I guess. So you're just going to tap that on there and the ink is going to adhere to that chalk dust. We're gonna come in now with our mango. Get that darker look. This is a great way to do that ombre look for the fall. And then we're gonna come back in here. I'm gonna add some more daffodil to my scrap paper. Again, pat that on there for the chalk. This is our daffodil. Just pat, you don't wanna rub anything just yet. Again, some more mango, just tap that on there. What is the chalk stuff? These are the, the pastels, Connie. That's what I'm using, the, the soft pastels assortment, the chalk stuff, that's what we're using today. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> so we've got our Mango Melody, we're just patting that on there. And then the final touch, the Poppy Parade at the top. Just tap that on there. And again, tap at the top. You could add more Poppy Parade to your paper to get more chalk on there. Tap. So you're just tapping that on picking up that chalk dust with your sponge dauber. And here, I'll hold it a little closer. You guys can see that it really is starting to take shape of where I stamped with the vellum, or sorry, not the vellum, the Versamark. Now you can see I still have a bunch of chalk dust on here because I was just tapping that on here. So I'm gonna tap that off of my sponge dauber. And now is where we're just gonna swirl it all and it's going to adhere to the paper. You can just wipe that off. And then once you swirl it into the paper, that, or you rub it, that is where it's going to really adhere to the card. And if you don't like the uh, chalk look on here, there are white erasers that you can get at your local hobby store. Um, they're just plain white and you can, um, just erase the chalk right off of there. I also have this uh, mono, this one's for ink though, but it's a sand eraser, but this does the same thing. And you can just rub the chalk right off your paper. So that is how to do the second technique with the Versamark and that really just kind of holds it all together with the chalks for that part. We're gonna put these away so I don't get chalk dust on everything. And they just close right into the box for this part. And I'm gonna move this off to the side so I don't get that on my project. Now you may have some chalk left over on your hands. A simple baby wipe will just wipe this right off. It's not permanent or anything. Um, it's just like using chalk with uh, a chalkboard. I like to have this little desktop vacuum cleaner that I got for Christmas. And then you can just kind of Pick up any remaining chalk dust on your table. This is from Amazon. If you just search desktop vacuum, you'll find this there. All right, to finish our project, we've got our card base here and our chalk pieces. We're gonna adhere that down to the left side of our card. We're gonna place that right in the middle. I have a piece of, this is the scrap early espresso 
cardstock. It's one inch by however long you want because we're going to trim it off. And I'm using that Early Espresso ink, like I mentioned before. It may be a little hard for you guys to see the sentiment, but once you stamp it, you'll be able to see it on there. I did tone on tone stamping, meaning we've got Early Espresso ink on Early Espresso cardstock. So it may not come through very well on the camera. So let me tilt it and hopefully the light picks that up and you guys can see. Okay, you like your desktop vacuum too? I love it. It's perfect, especially when you're using embossing powder. It just kind of gets all over the place and it's great to be able to clean that up. All right, normally I like to flag the ends of my sentiments, but instead today I'm just going to do a simple diagonal cut. You want to make sure you're cutting both the same direction. I've accidentally cut the wrong way once. <laughs> So we've got our sentiment piece here, and I'm just going to use Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of that. Hey, look at that. I finished a whole nother sheet of dimensionals. Now I'm only down to seven now that are open and used. <laughs> Is it like raining outside? I don't know. It sounds like, it looks like it was getting dark outside. For you, those of you who don't know, I live in Tucson, Arizona. We have not seen rain since like last year um, and so we desperately need rain so I'm hoping we're gonna get something but I doubt we're gonna get very much all right as the final touch this is in the annual catalog and I don't know why I haven't used this sooner this is a carryover item from last year and it's faux suede trim it's in early espresso so perfect for this project and it it just it feels like suede and it's like the perfect masculine uh, ribbon. I don't, like I said, I don't know why I didn't use it earlier. So we're just gonna tie a simple bow with our ribbon. And I was so happy last week, I got to have in-person class again and I got to tie some bows and I was really excited about that. I know you ladies love it when I tie your bows at my events and I was very happy to be able to tie your bows again. Now with this faux trim, there's a couple of different ways that you can adhere this to your project. You could use Tombow liquid glue and um, a clear block, but I found the best way and you don't have to wait for anything to dry are mini glue dots. So just take a glue dot to the back and place it right on your card and it's completely done. You don't have to wait for anything to dry. I got this glue dot, uh, holder at my local hobby store as well if you were wanting to know where I got that. All right, so here is our second project featuring the pastels assortment. Let me know, I think this one's my favorite one. And again, they both look totally different depending on how much chalk, what colors you use, and how heavy you apply them with the sponge dauber. All right, let me bring in our first project. And our seconds, you can see them side by side. Here are them. Let me know which one is your favorite. Like I said, I think this masculine one is definitely my favorite today. The You Truly Inspire Me sentiment can be swapped out for any other sentiment from the cards. And this is a great stamp set called Beauty of Friendship that is found in the annual catalog. All right, so thank you everybody for joining me for this week's Technique Tuesday. I look forward to getting back on schedule next week for Makers Monday, but in the future, I have a quite a little bit of an update. So two weeks from today, there will not be a Makers Monday, and four weeks from today, there will not be a Makers Monday as well. Two weeks from today, I have family visiting for my husband's military change of command, so I will be spending some time with them and then four weeks from Monday, I will be having foot surgery. So I will be out for the week after that from Makers Monday, but I will be back in July. We will be having Makers Monday next week. So I look forward to bringing you some fun projects using the Hat Builders dies to coordinate with my June project class kit. I hope to see you all next week for Makers Monday and I hope you all have an amazing week. Bye.